We've been able to create an exhibit at the State Museum that commemorates the memories of the people that died on September 11th. And that exhibit will be opening on September 7th of this year. The governor of the state of New Jersey, Chris Christie, along with Governor Kane, have agreed to serve as the chairs of the opening event on September 7th. For a full year after the opening of the exhibit, we will honor the memory of what happened on September 11th in a positive way at the State Museum. And that will help the community, I think, work together and draw people to Trenton. You know, everybody has a place that they will go to remember what happened on September 11th. In, in my county of Monmouth, we will have commemorations up and down the coast, I'm sure, as we look out over um, the water to the World Trade Center site itself. But we need a place for people to go for the whole year, to teach kids who often come to this rotunda to learn about the state itself. We need a place to teach kids for this entire state, not just the one day, but for the entire year about what happened 10 years ago. Because many of the children that come to the State House and learn about this beautiful building weren't alive on September 11th, 10 years ago. So what working together with the community and the State Museum we have come up with is a year-long exhibit um, st staffed and funded with the community, but also that includes exhibits that come directly from the New Jersey Port Authority of, uh, I'm sorry, the New York and New Jersey Port Authority with pieces of steel and pieces of items that were found um, the days in the days after 9-11, 10 years ago. The whole premise of the exhibit is that we're remembering 9-11, but through the New Jersey voice and perspective. So what you're going to see are artifacts and images that speak to New Jersey's involvement, New Jersey, things like uh, Joseph Holland's car key that was recovered. He was a New Jersey victim. Um, the Port Authority steal, of course, the Port Authority being a bi-state agency. Um, and what you'll see uh, in that experience is we want to, we, you, the first thing that you'll see when you walk in is the, the, the birth of the towers, um, as seen through the lens of uh, New Jersey photographer Donna Lacuda. So we're, we're, we've engaged photographers, um, New Jersey artists, um, uh, obviously the Port Authority and contributing some of the more monumental pieces of steel. But it'll be the, the industrial pieces, it'll be the personal stories um, woven together to give visitors a sense of what happened that day, um, a sense of the recovery period, a sense of how New Jersey memorialized. There'll be a memory section with a, with a slideshow of all the different memorials found throughout the state. Um, and then we're asking visitors in the in concluding section to leave their own personal reflections of 9-11. They become the centerpiece of that segment of the exhibit. And um, so it's a way to create a very interactive learning experience for our visitors. You know, my brother Harvey, like so many of these victims on 9-11, left his home uh, that morning just to commute to work. He packed his gym bag and um, set off for a day, you know, a, a regular routine day. Um, and, and literally hours later found himself um, struggling to survive with his coworkers, his 12 coworkers in their uh, burning, collapsing offices. And the bravery that he showed that day uh, continues to inspire me. And it was the bravery and was the compassion that he showed throughout his entire life. Um, but it was obvious that day. We heard uh, our family reached him on the phone. We heard him comforting others. We heard him trying to figure out a means of escape. And these are the stories that we have to pass on from generation to generation so that we inspire them with what we experience. Because I know a lot of times people feel it's a very tragic event and it's difficult to look at it and reflect on it, but it's our duty to do so. We owe that to future generations to do this because we can inspire generations to come with the story in the way that New Jersey and in the way that our country responded to these terrorist attacks. This is not supposed to be depressing. In fact, that was a very specific conversation the group had. This is supposed to be uplifting. This is supposed to be an example of everything that's good about a community coming together in order to honor a memory and learn from our past, but also to very completely understand that tomorrow will be better than today and that there is hope coming out 
of this disaster. And Anthony, I know you were very specific in insisting that this is a hopeful, uplifting event. And this gives people in New Jersey a place to come and honor what happened on September 11th in a way that they might otherwise not have an opportunity to do it. And I think it's particularly appropriate that we do this at the state capitol.